Hello guys, uh, welcome to our continuation of uh, our Python machine learning tutorial. So, till the last tutorial, this is what we have seen. So, we plotted the correlation coefficient of uh, all, all these five different uh, features. Again, uh, yeah, you can call it features, even though this is uh, our label that we want to predict. Okay. So, just call it feature. So, we calculated the correlation coefficient. We found that we could uh, uh, apply linear regression uh, to this model. So, now what we are going to do is like we are going to take uh, the room, room columns from our data frame, then uh, median price of an hour. So I just continue it here. So yum, yeah, I mean X will be our rooms which are known value and Y is our price. So we're gonna like uh, train our linear regression model for this set. So based on the number of rooms, so what's the price of the house? So that's what we're gonna do. So now let's since uh, we bought in those. So let's uh, print out and see you now the shape of the data that we're dealing with. Okay. okay. Close this one. Close. So this is the shape of the data that we're dealing with. This is the, the number of uh, x is a room size. Right? So number of rooms. So five or six data sets we have for. Uh, like five or six rows in one column, the other one is just the price. Okay. So now we have this. So now we we use this standard scalar module that we have imported. So go ahead and like uh, bring in these four lines. I'll explain what they are. So bring them in. So, the standard scalar for x and standard scalar for y, we are just creating the variables and then we are doing fit and transform on the x data that we have uh, uh, specified here. So, we do the x sc.fit.transform module. So, using that and then we are converting all the data into like uh, a certain scale, a scale of like minus one to plus one, as uh, something like that. So you go look into that one and the scale on uh, model. So you actually get to know to which scale it's actually converting them. Okay, so that's what's happening here. So it's like we want to know what's happening there rather than to know like what exactly is happening. So that's that's the difference. So now we know like what's happening. To certain extent, but not exactly to the numerical value over here, but it's okay. So now, what we're doing is like before this. So when I open the shell again, it's still open. Okay, I don't. I'll just uh, save this. I open. In the program. So now after this I print the shape again. So now all you, all I want you to show you guys is like the difference between this shape and this shape. So 
So now it's same. You could see. So we maintain that. So what's the? I mean, uh, if you pass. Uh, wait. Let me show this. This will throw me an error. That's why I'm creating a new axis here and I'm flattening it out so that uh, you won't get that error. So, let's close this and save the F5. So, this is the error that we are avoiding by using this line of code. Okay, it's been depreciated, blah blah blah. Depreciation is already there, so we have to reshape this to uh, uh, to the form that it wants. So it takes it's actually a one dimensional array, so it wants it in two dimensional array. So that's what uh, we are doing. So we are adding a new axis to this uh, y data. Which is actually price, so which is actually five zero six comma nothing. So we add new axis and then we flatten it out and then we do a fit and transform for standard scalar. Okay, that's what's actually happening there. So I get rid of this line. We don't more need that. Okay, now we have all our data. The format. It's more suitable to apply on a machine learning algorithm. Okay, so now why I'm printing is like just to see it to which scale it's converted. So if you see, it's like around maybe a one point something to zero zero two. It's just converting this in certain scale, but I got no idea what that scale is all about. Okay, so I just try to make sense by looking at it, but it's of no use. Okay, so I delete this. So now we are, we have standardized our data. Okay, now let's go further. Let's go write the algorithm itself. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna write the algorithm itself. Okay. So we copy this. So this is a linear regression uh, gradient descent class. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply copy this and paste it. Let's start our explanation. So the class, you can call it anything you want here. It's a linear regression. GD means gradient descent. And then this is the normal initializer, so this thing will get initialized when you call this, uh, when you declare the class, so actually when you call the class somewhere below, okay, which we'll do here. So here over here, when you call this line, then it will uh, declare these uh, set of uh, parameters. So by eta is the learning rate and iteration is number of times, you know, the, the the learning process learn it 10 times learn it 20 times learn it 100 times so more you learn more times you learn the same thing the longer the time consuming it is okay and then fit is to like this this way it actually fits the data and then uh, figure out the the slope and then uh, the bias data, you know, actually, this is where the learning coefficients are going to like take shape, you know. So it's going to start from zero. So the zeros are going to be based on the shape of x, which is our room number. So I mean, number of rooms array np dot zero x dot shape one. So it's actually, so if you see what shape one, it's actually 506, right? 506 comma one. The one is what's gonna take, OK? 
okay and then it's going to add one to that so it's actually two so it's going to take create an array with two zeros Z zero comma zero then the self dot cost is going to be an array too and then it's going to like based on the number of iteration that you are specifying here this for loop is going to get executed so it's going to get executed 20 times with he I mean uh, here what's happening here output is going to be it's going to call this function again pass the x values and then it's going to do the dot product of x let's say number of rooms 4 so 4 into the self dot w w is the weight ok so and then plus w0 so this is like the equation that's normal for linear regression that you could learn when you actually learn what linear regression is all about so it's going to calculate the output it's going to calculate the difference between the actual value and the calculated value and then it's going to update its e, I mean uh, its weight and then the bias value and then <laughs> it's going to calculate the cost of updating okay and then it's going to like append it to the cost the cost is an array so this thing repeat itself till these two settles and after that you could use the predict function to predict the price based on these two hop yeah so now so now we have written the class now it's time to train a model trying to train our model so here it is so we declare we create an object of the class what's happening control c we are gonna create an object of the class linear regression gradient descent lr then lr dot fit represent this one so we are going to pass the scale the x and y values to this then it's going to set these two value after 20 iteration with the learning rate of 0 0.001 fine and then i think it's the longest <laughs> video so and then we are going to plot it okay First, let me copy paste. So, hopefully, this made sense for you guys. If not, come on below. I'll try to answer. So, the range from one to uh, yalla dot n iteration, which is twenty plus one. So, from range one to twenty, comma yalla dot cost and the corresponding cost that's what it's going to plot for one what's the cost for two what's the cost for 20 what's the cost so that's what it's going to plot so let's save this and then f5 execute so when the cost narrows down when it's become minimum your machine learning model has trained itself and it's ready to be deployed so if you have a look at this so it's at the top the error is so has a sum of squared errors so that's what this SSE means and the epoch is the number of iteration okay the 20 that we have specified it ends at 20 so at the starting it's around 2 let's say 250 and it just gradually comes down and closer to 5 it actually converges pretty much to a state which can which, which it can be deployed so it's like there's no more improvement after this so now we have trained our model okay when you execute this a set of code it trains your model to the data that you have uh, well, injected now you actually can 
predict it. Okay. We could straight away go ahead and predict it. I'll just ignore this. Okay. I'll just uh, copy these lines. So we do the predicting portion and then we call it a day for today. So I am going to like come up with a value for number of rooms, so for 5 rooms, what's it going to be, the price. So that's what I want to do, predict. So I can't just like that, you know, inject 5 into my model because uh, inside the model, the number of rooms are scaled. So that's the reason why I have to like scale this. So I'm using this, uh, this scalar that we have, uh, that I have imported. And then uh, I'm converting th that into an array and I'm scaling it. And then the price is going to be LR. LR refers to linear regression gradient descent dot predict number of rooms, which is actually 5. It's not actually 5, the scaled value of 5. LR dot predict goes here. And then self dot net input that goes here. So this uses the value, the weight and the bias value that finally taken shape after training of the model is over and then it's gonna like predict the price for you okay this thing will directly returns you the price okay you get the price here and the price is in like uh, you know if it's 10 it means like ten thousand dollars so that's what that means uh, so we print the price then we also like reverse inverse transform the price even the price is also transformed so this is like uh, before transformation because if you see here we also like uh, scale the price standard scalar why fit transform we, we scale the price and then we inverse transform the price and then we show it so before transformation and this is after transformation so press F5 then execute It's going to show us the entire model. Close, close, close. So this is the price before transformation. And this is the price after transformation. So the price of a five room house in Boston during the specified time of the data, whatever it is, is $10,840. How cheap it is. Awesome. I think that's it. This tutorial series ends. So we'll be like discussing more interesting topics in later videos. Maybe we build a neural network and then now uh, we play with that. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video tutorial. Bye for now.